Hello, Monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 11 of a Skullstick campaign where we're trying to push back against our numerous and belligerent enemies, including the Skaven and the Dwarves, and I really should just do a war. We're gonna war the Dwarves. And we're going to go weapons. Yeah, 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 weapon strength. Weapon strength, okay. I probably should have done that at the beginning of the next turn. Um, that probably would have been sm like d look, doesn't matter, all right? I had had a thing in mind, and I've gone ahead and done it. All right, we, we need to block you because Grom is heading over to take out the dwarfs over here. Has he already got some units in his army? Holy shit, he does. Holy shit! Look at that. He's got some got some boys. Holy shit, we got Feral Wyvern. Nice. Alright, cool. Uh, so, Huglug. You're going to come down here because there's almost certainly rats. What are they? It's Clan Moors. Okay, so that's not... I don't need to take them out right away. Obviously, they don't like me very much. You smell of fear. <laughs> Should I kill Gaunt you? Um, I wouldn't personally. I think you've got other fish to fry, haven't you? Who are you all with? Uh, yeah, you're, you've got, you're all with a lot of people. You really don't need me on your case at the same time. Misty Mountain might be under the control of Queek. If so, we probably will actually leave that. Because then we can concentrate on heading north. Who am, I, who am I at war with? Let's just double check. No, me. Right. Yes, yes, fine, 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 fine. fine. Really? You're still alive? I'm surprised. I I am I'm shocked. Okay, well never mind. I guess that's fine. Uh, unassigned skill point for Zork, the Grand Inquisitor. We're going to give you a gutter fighter because of and the nasty nasty skulker and Huglug. You can have a ball and learn how to wound people emotionally and physically. Uh, yeah, we'll accept refugees. Wait, right, being raided. <sighs> All right. Well, we're being raided. King. All right, Grom. Under Grom's will, Gorkenmork wants him dead. You've got a banner as well. Very nice. This I'm just going to occupy that. Now. A scarecrow banner. Ah, oh, everything's coming up. Gr oh, for fuck's sake! God damn it! <sighs> okay, I'm concerned there might be dwarves heading down this way. That is a worry for me. At the same time, I'm going to... I'm going... I, I think they might attack Varenka Hills. So we're going to see about doing something there. See who's home. Must be Clan Moors. It is indeed. All right. Well, in that case, in that case, we'll leave them to their own devices, and we are gathering, gathering boys, which is exactly what we want to do. So we're going to stay there for the moment, which is fine. Do we have anyone else? I think that's it. Is it? Oh, Huglug. Okay, you come down here. I want. Do we have? Any goblin big boss, that's what I want. I want someone oh cunning? Yeah, alright. Let's get stabbing. I need someone up yes. here to keep an eye out while we I just need to push back I refuse. the the border princes a little bit. I don't think it'll be particularly tricky, but it's it's just something we need to do. Grom, you're gonna get the gobbos, because you've got lots of gobbos. It should come as no great surprise. I do not like the fact that the Beastmen apparently have pieced out with all of the good guy factions and are concentrating on me. Whoa, hello. Wazak. No way. That's bad time. Bad time, Pi. Uh, that's mostly just a lot of slaves. 
mostly just a lot of slaves. So let's go get back here and assault garrison, sure. Research, we're going to get Sharon is caring because that's going to reduce our upkeep, which is uh, can only be a good thing. Of course, the dwarves are also rank quite high. Can't remember which rank they are, which means we'll get... Oh, we, st we still have this bonus, so we'll get that bonus. Instead of... Well, we get the same bonus, basically, which is fine. But we, we get to keep that bonus at the same time, which is good. How much hang on, how much weapon strength have you boys got, then? 41. Holy shit. Jesus. Uh, Zork... I'm going to put you in an army, so be elusive. Be elusive, but keep your eyes peeled. Where are those dwarves? I'm a little bit worried these dwarves might jump Grom. I I don't know if they can actually reach us. I'm slightly you concerned they can. Hello, Setra. You want a military alliance? Um, I don't know how... Well, I mean... You will have a shit ton of... You know what? Yes. Yes, yeah, because you will have a shit ton of armies down there. And you might be able to keep people off my back. And frankly, I could use a friend. Hello, Manfred. Oh, thank God. What? Nine? That? Ugh, oh, you're such a moon-faced little shit. Alright, fine. Fine, but I don't like it. Where did those dwarves go? Did they die? Fingers crossed. I hope they I hope they died. If we check the strength rank of the dwarves, we'll be able to tell if they died or not. Ooh, okay. After feeling less murdery than usual, Grom found out that a rival called Git Guzzler, falsely rumoured to be a contender to his vast size, has been accused of stealing his favourite chopper, Elf Biter. Grom swiftly sought him out and, disappointed the meek appearance of his adversary, demanded the return of his axe, so he could promptly chop the Git to bits with his impudent lies and thievery. The Night Goblin Warboss denied all knowledge of the theft, however, and claims that he was a victim of a slanderous setup. His denials were convincing, but Grom has already gone to the effort of getting the boys together and marching them over there, so Git Guzzler was going to get guzzled nonetheless. Fair enough. Fair enough. Confederation. Wait, can Midland confederate with the Empire? Can that happen? Thawing relations. Ah. Oh. Coming to the end times can make allies with bitter enemies. Oh, that's nice. We're, we're being friends. Uh, right, you're back. Ready for duty. Ready for duty. Fine, fine, fine. Let's get you here to keep an eye out for any potential dwarf attacks. Uh, we're going to check the dwarves. What strength rank are you now? You bring Nine. Before the high. Well, I don't... I, I, I genuinely don't know. Going on the ground. Okay, we're just going to hop over here. That's what we're going to do. And what's the garrison like here? Beefy. It is a beefy garrison. Don't particularly want to deal with it. On the other hand, we've got a war as well, haven't we? Who can stand? We do have a war. Where's Zork gone? Zork, where are you, buddy? You're around here somewhere. Oh, you are over there, weren't you? I need you down here to keep an eye out. Oh, in fact, damage them walls for me. Good lads. Good lads. Okay, they've got two breaches. Is that enough, do we think? We could always use more, couldn't we? Oh, Stitch is back. Good. No, you are. Go over there. Hurry up. Got shit to do. Why is it sometimes when you have a war, your units move not a, like this this movement range here is like he's got fifty percent movement range. Why? Like it's nothing to say why he has fifty percent movement range, it's just it just does. He apparently just has fifty percent movement range, that is just why it is, and I don't know why. You guys are fine. Ready. Now we have wars, don't we? We do. <laughs> yes. Now I mean, they're not, they're not major wars, but... The council is, is disappointed. Hug Morglus. Come here. Right, stab him. Good, good lads. 
Right, let's move in to attack Crookback Mountain. So this is where we could use a goblin big boss, really. To do some... To do some wall breaking. Uh, in the meantime, let's just get a couple of siege towers. We can put you in a raiding stance, just in case. I think I'm going to scamper over here because I haven't seen any dwarves coming, so I'm going to assume that we're fine for the moment. Famous last words. We're still being raided over here. I hope they go away. That's that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, stomp them. You get some of that. And we'll go with Mad Cup Mushrooms for Jesse Greenman. Because we've got we got Walter White, because he, he's mushroom addicted. And then we've got Jesse Greenman because because he's green. And that's about as far as I thought about it. And um do we do we, do we do defend oh we got defenses coming up. Good. Squigs? Squigs. 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 Let's get more money. We've got the defences there. We can always get uh, raiding stashes, which is fine. We'll get the growth there as well, which we probably I probably need more growth there. But we're just gonna do we're just gonna do that. I think. I guess blade shield. To be honest, to be honest, your job is pretty much just assault people. Well, we're definitely not going to. Use our war to ambush that. That doesn't seem like a sensible plan. We like an uninvited guest, don't we, lads? You want to? Oh, you want to? You know, I'm not going to give you seven k for a peace treaty, a great wazak. Seven k for a peace treaty? Get stuffed. Give me seven k for a peace treaty, and I'll friggin' think about it. Maybe. Okay, that army isn't really a threat. How much damage do we have? Four breaches. That's good. Are you in range? You are not. I'm going to scamper over there. Set up a little ambush. See if we can get that going on. Skarsnick, can you move properly this time? You can. Lovely. Okay, you come over here. We will get the defences. I need Karakazul, don't I? Uh-oh. 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 Okay, at least you can't move very far. Do I want to attack this? The problem is they have mortars, which are going to be really nasty to deal with. Will you just accept a peace treaty? What about if I... What about if I've got... If I'm laying siege to you? Will that... I've also got my war, don't I? Not that that's really going to help me very much. You come bearing arms. Disagree with that. Alright, well, you can't say I didn't try. I did try. I tried really hard, but... Nice thing about war forces is that they are incredibly expendable. So we're going to throw our fast-moving Y units, very fast-moving. Surging in to throw themselves against, apparently, the, the rear of the Empire Knights there. And I'm not sure these guys are going to do particularly well against them, but they don't need to. They just need to tucker them out and uh, take out some of that uh, missile fire coming in. We're also going to send the infantry up against the other side of the wall 
to try and knock out some of these these hand gunners. Trying to keep our our night goblins intact as possible. Because as much as I love these little guys, look at them. He's adorable, but he's also very squishy. He, he will he will burst. He will pop like an overripe melon, and it'll just be goo everywhere. It's it's, it's awful. Meanwhile, we've got our warlord on the back. Like, oh, he's go it's so good. He's hopping around. It's the Black Gobbo. There's Hagatha Christie. And Thor Got Face Smasher. It's quite a title for a little goblin. Especially a... Especially a shaman, isn't it? Quite the title. Drop some magics on their heads. The, the problem with a vortex, though, is it does tend to wander off, doesn't it? Look, it's like it's like he's forgotten something at the shops. Oh shit! I left the gas on, and, he, and he's gone. Well, I mean, it did do some damage. That's the main thing. So we're going to push forward Fight, men. Fight for our right to live. with our characters. Hurry. The idea is just to pressure them in multiple locations. So we're going to climb up the walls here. That means they then have to potentially like pull forces away to deal with that. If not, then with any luck, we can engage their hand gunners and our squigs can then chew through the door. And jobs are good. Another little purple son of Zerus doing some damage. It's not bad. Sucking off a few great swords. They've also been debuffed. That one, that, one hang, that one hung around for a bit. That wasn't too bad, but there's certainly more here that we could probably deal with. You can see poor old, poor old Black Gobbo's getting, getting smacked about. He's given as good as he gets, though. So we are bringing our infantry forward. Now here's the danger zone because the danger zone because if. If the mortars start trying to pick them off and we blob them up too much, then they could get exploded. They, they could rack up a lot of kills very quickly. We don't want that. So we're going to be very careful about where we put these units. See the archers raining fire down the halberdiers, doing a lot of damage there. In come the night goblins. Got big blocks of halberdiers, which should be very squishy for, for our fanatics. Unfortunately, the mortars have already spotted them. Oof. Have we have broken through? Which means we're going to push forward. See our fanatics already coming out, doing some really good damage against those halberdiers. Very, very nice. Always tricky in a siege battle, because if they, they go too close to like one of the sides of these buildings, they will despawn. Which isn't ideal. It'll the bad moon. Doing... Uh, it, it can't... It, it does okay. It does okay. It also heads towards the mortars here, so that's... You know, it could have been better. Probably should have waited a little while before we, we did it. The fanatic's coming out, but unfortunately it's it, they, they despawn. That's a little bit of a shame, never mind. Those mortars raining down. Oh, it's going to sting. Trying to cut through these great swords. More goblins coming in behind. You can see they're just really doing, doing a number on those mortars. That's really good. Liking that a lot. That did, No, 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 not the goblins. Not the goblins. Oh, thank God for that. And God, it actually it actually debuffed the because uh, the the bad moon does a debuff, which is quite nasty actually. It reduces armor, speed, and melee defense. So well, these great swords got clipped by it, so they've got uh, a bit of a debuff for a little while, which is quite nice. Meanwhile, we're trying to smash through the defenders, but they're proving to be quite tricky. Our fanatics are trying to chew through the door up to forty five percent damage. Our infantry on the wall has engaged. The handguns, they're going down. The archers climbing up, trying to get some good... If we can just engage those handguns and stop them firing, that would be pretty good. Basically, um, 
at the moment they're keeping us at bay and using those mortars. Those mortars getting up some some reasonably good kills. 111 kills there, 81 kills there. Ooh, it's gonna stink. You can see our fanatics taking a lot. Of, our goblins taking a lot of damage. But as soon as this gate's open, it's all over. Because as soon as this gate opens, then basically they're flanked. And there we go. Suddenly, the tide has turned. They don't have enough units to fend us off anymore. These fanatics, these uh, squig hoppers are going to be running all over the place, bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventures beyond compare. They are a, 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 basically a mushroom with teeth. And there we go. The battle is over. And the squigs are going to eat well tonight. Ah, they eat well every night. They, they eat everything. That wasn't actually too bad. I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Let's take the cash. And what about now? The time for talk is over. Make your demands. Yeah, the damn right it is. My demand? Give me all your fucking money. You... All right, give me, give me some of your money. Of course. Good now. Fuck off. <laughs> Get out of my house. I've got other things to deal with than you. I'll be back. Don't worry. Oh, I'll be back. Uh, so, let us get riders. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm a little bit worried about this dwarf army. If we can keep blocking them, then we should be okay. In theory, still laying siege to that, which is fine. We need to go and take Karakazul, which is fine. We can upgrade the defences there, which is good. You are actually okay. That's good to see. So we'll get some more defences over there. Get some of that. We are losing money at the moment, but that's okay. You are hopefully going somewhere else. We've actually got a full stack of defences here, which means... Should they attack with their horde of hand... Well, no, they won't attack, will they? Because I'll just peace out with them. Blech. So you've got two skill points. Uh, block army. There we go. Hagatha Christie. Good good job on that battle there. Let's give you uh, Wild Eyes. Need to get you back over here to deal with this dwarf threat. There's dwarf threat everywhere, isn't there? That's just, just what dwarves are like. Very threatening. But if we can take Krag, Kragmir, Zuthbar, I reckon we can probably... Like pincer move gets get the black gobbo, which is what I've named Groin Grabber, because let's face it, he's, he's doing good work. And Grom. That was a bit. Can I merge you? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that, and then I can always get rid of you should I need to. That works. This, I mean. This little wild's pretty good. You've got a lava Ragnarok spider, feral wyvern, lava spider riders. It's all looking pretty, pretty good. You know what? I'm going to bring you over here because if there's other clanish and armies massing, I want to know. So far, so good. Let's give you stalker and block army because that's mostly what you're going to be doing. Uh, hug lug. We know what's down there. What's Kemri up to? Massing stacks upon stacks of skeletons. Yep, that sounds about right. Will he actually do anything with it? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Uh, I, just, just come back up here. Just keep an eye on things for us. And defences, because that gives us a little bit of time to react to any potential problems as they crop up. Well, hello, Thorgrim. Yeah, this is fine. Grom's gonna conquer these kids. That's a grunt. How about you? Bring them to our hides. 
Uh, it's a brazen tactic, charging the Snotling Pump Waggers in first, because they are not going to do particularly well against Slayers. But what it does do is blobs up the Slayers, which means we can then Fanatic the shit out of them, which is what we just done here. The Fanatic's twirling, twirling, twirling towards victory. Unfortunately, Grom not having such good... He, 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 despite the lucky banner, he's taking a lot of damage very, very quickly. More fanatics coming out to help out. These are the archer fanatics. That's right, we've got two layers of fanatics. Telling dwarves to jam. Grom's running away, and that means we have to rely on our goblins to do the rest of the damage. I mean, goblins should do quite well against slayers, because the slayers don't really have much dharma. Grom charging in. Getting stuck in there, that's a good job. Exploding dwarves left, right, and center. Fair enough, good. I think the death juice does help. And the fact that the slayers can do damage, but we've got a lot of un a lot of members in our units, which means that they can only kill one at a time. So I think it probably works out fairly well for us. We are getting pounded by the satchel charges from the Ekrand miners, though. But overall, it looks like our goblins are winning against the Slayers. Mostly through sheer weight of numbers. Even even Thorgrim's running away. He's had enough. I mean, most of his, his Slayers aren't. His Slayers are still fighting on. As ever. Ugh. And even worse, he's got a fucking ghost with him. Ugh, these guys are the worst. Unless you've got magical weapons, they're li oh, so annoying to kill. You literally have to mob them or shoot them. Shooting a ghost with arrows does seem to be the optimal strategy. Although the death juice, I think, does actually bypass the physical resistance. So there is that. Still, it's going to take us a little while to kill him. But I won't make you watch that because it, it did take a little while. Ugh, Slayer's the worst. Slayer's and and that ghost, those ghosts, just just the worst. Never mind. Dead now, but he's dead to begin with. But he's dead again, for the moment. And Grom survived, although those not in pump wagons, not 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 so much. Oh mighty lord. Yeah, I know. Go on, back in your box. Is it Shroom Gatherer? Okay. What are you doing? You just just sat there. Wait, no, that's a different army. Where did that first army go? This is a different one. No way. Where did the first army go? What a at do you want? I want to know where that first army went. That's just a big stack of fucking slayers. Uh, okay. Let's get stabbing. I mean, he can't have gone far. Now. Yes. Was it that army? Nope. I think it was. Best idea Come on, block him, block him, block him, block him. Good job. Still think so. Okay, he's not going anywhere fast. We do have another army over there. And More than low. Oh, God. Oh, it's, it's just... It's, I was worried we might get jumped by a horde of gutter runners. It's fine. It's just slaves. That's absolutely not a problem. I can deal with that. Okay, we're bringing you back over there. Uh, I don't think that should be that bad. Grom always wins. Remember it! What a lot of slayers you have. Shame if someone were to, I don't know, fanatic them. A lot of them at the same time. We're, we're going to use a lot of fanatics. That's it's the best way to kill a crap ton of slayers like this. Look at them all. Look how many the fuckers there are. Our 
Yes! Yes! Ah, uh, that was quite satisfying. I mean, could have used more fanatics, but kind of everything. I really hate it when the dwarves have nothing to recruit for fucking fanatics. It's literally... Oh, it's a nightmare. Fortunately, even more fanatics coming out. Dwarves exploding left, right, and centre, which means dwarves I won't have to cut down with goblins. Well, I definitely got some. That was a that was quite a few dwarves that died there. Quite a quite a splattering. Holy shit! Doing pretty good. We do have what's left of our snotting pump wagons. There's not many of them. We're going to try and take out these long beards. Hit them from all directions. More fanatics coming out. There we go. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that was close. Ah, oh, yes, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. Uh oh. Oh well. I do not care from whence the jam comes, just that there is jam. And for preference, it's raspberry. Strawberry is fine too, but raspberry is, is optimal. I guess it depends on the situation. Like a nice, nice cream tea. You probably want the strawberry jam, don't you? What do you want, raspberry? Hmm. I think I'm okay with either, to be honest. I think I think I could go either way. Well, all the slayers are dead. Well, almost anyway. There we go. That's the last of them being run down. The enemy general fleeing away, leaving the city undefended, apart from the garrison. Oh, it's literally the worst when he starts showing, showing up with stacks of just slayers. I swear. Absolute nightmare. Uh, we may need to pull back. Just to heal up. But I feel like we've done some good damage. Ooh, bonus first large in my attack for goblin units. That doesn't include you guys. Just, just normal goblin units. Fair enough. Yes, boss. I'll say fair enough, but actually the... The description on that is pretty shit. Because some of those abilities affect... So... Like... Oh, it does say Goblin Knight Goblin. Okay, fine. Fine, it does. It, oh, right, fine. It, do, it does state Knight Goblin, not just Goblin and Knight Goblin's different things, even though they should be the same, in my opinion. Fine, I concede that point. But only just. Hmm. We do have Skaven reinforcements coming over the hill, so I think we may need to to do this now. But let us put our war under AI control. That means we get to control our entire stack. Plus reinforcements come in, and we at least have a couple of siege towers. So that'll be good. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.